It's my birthday today. I'm 57 now. Considering I'm from what used to be called the USSR, this really means something. I'm excited about what I have lived to see, and I'm lucky. Many of my cousins of the same age all over the world are not doing so well. I really have to thank all the nice people of Tartu and other Estonians that brought on this second youth for me and my residence. During a recent project here in Tartu, I was rejuvenated and I feel like new. It was during Smart Ensity, maybe you've heard of this project, an international endeavour. There were also makeovers in Denmark and Spain. Here, 18 houses were spruced up in the pilot area. New LED streetlights were installed. There are natural gas buses in the whole city, and that's just the beginning. Researchers at the University of Tartu measured how the residents feel about the upcoming changes and adjust to the new circumstances, as well as how much energy can be saved. And they can also keep an eye on how it's all working out. Later, the innovation can be copied elsewhere in Europe or the whole world that kind of pilot project. So I'm like a pioneer, or I mean, I stand here as testament to success. Europe has a plan to become carbon neutral by 2050, and renovating living spaces is a big part of it, almost half. New energy efficiency standards are being rolled out, not just for new buildings, but for the already existing ones as well. And it takes a little more than just a new layer of paint, it's about the insulation, the ventilation, better materials and better technology. Still, technology can't save everything on its own. To plan a smart city, one needs to know how people think and act, as well as how they move between areas. This is what researchers at the University of Tartu are trying to find out with the help of the Institute of Baltic Studies. People should learn new habits and not just concerning their home. Many things actually. Energy, water and shopping, even transport. This sort of education was also a big part of the Smart End City project. I'm sure my residents are already making more environmentally conscious choices, checking their smart home system and trying to find ways to lower consumption. And I see them, and also lots of other people, often riding a bicycle instead of taking a short car trip. When the city bike sharing system was opened in June 2019, all sorts of people could suddenly be seen riding them. I guess it's quite a smooth ride with those electric motors. Two thirds of them have it. By the way, these two wheelers have passed the 6 million kilometer mark of total travel. That's 15 times the distance to the moon. And a lot of location data has been gathered. The Mobility Lab of the University of Tartu specializes in location data analysis so they can help the city government to make more informed and database decisions in city planning. So yeah, what I really want to do is congratulate you instead. I'm not the star of the show here, the city is, and it's beautiful. There is now data and research that helps make urban spaces sustainable and human friendly with cleaner transport and more artwork. And when what we've learnt here is passed on to the children and grandchildren and put to use more widely, I guess all of the world's villages and cities will be inclusive and resilient.